So what we're looking at here is a an example of how we work out a great circle distance between two points on the Earth using spherical trigonometry. So let's have a look at the two points. So there's the description of the problem and I'm going to write down the two points on here. So I've got point A and that equals 50 degrees 52 minutes north 2 degrees 10 minutes west and point B and you can see them marked on the here on the globe here so there's point A and there's point B point C for reference is the North Pole. So we'll just continue to write down a point B. So that is 43 degrees 52 north and 18 degrees 25 minutes east. I think there's a point here that needs to just be brought out that if we were to draw the Earth as North Pole there, and those two points are round about there for A and around about there for B, that the reference 50 north, 2 degrees west, so here's west and here's east, you can see that that point's reference is for north and west and point B's reference is north and east so if I wanted to find and let's just change the colour here that angle there and that would be our angle C which is at north then I would have to add the angle A there and the angle B there which would give me angle C and we'll see that's exactly what we will be doing uh, very shortly. So go back to the problem then the other point, the other part of the information we're given is that we are to assume that the radius of the Earth is 63 70, so 6,370 kilometers. And that's the radius. So that's the point origin zero there, which is at the center of the Earth, out to any point on the Earth, assuming the Earth is a perfect, perfect circle. And that's where errors start to creep in. So let's have a look at this problem now. now remember what I said to you earlier on that in order to find this angle here between A and B this angle C big C here then because points A and B are on the opposite side of the Greenwich Meridian and that's what I've kind of drawn in there that's the Greenwich Meridian there in yellow now then you need to add the longitudes and that will give you that um, angle. So here we've got angle C, there's angle C up here. Angle C is the two longitudes, there's longitude 1 there and longitude 2. So I've got 2 degrees 10 minutes plus 18 degrees 25 minutes which equals 20 degrees 35 minutes so that gives me one point on the earth or rather one point in our solution and that's a point we're going to need shortly when we use the cosine rule to find out each of the other points in there. So the other things that we need to point out here is looking at the diagram here I've got point A 
and opposite point A so each one of these C, A and B if you draw an angle between the centre of the Earth and it then you get another set of angles which is little a which is opposite big A so there's point A and opposite that I've got angle little a opposite point B I've got little b and opposite point C I've got little c and little c actually turns into this angle here now just to recap that uh, the angle at C here at the surface uh, we found out was 20 degrees 35 minutes we did that by adding those two together and here it is here the answer here so in order to find angle little a and angle little b and we see shortly these are the elements we need for the cosine rule then we need to take the latitudes away from each of those uh, points away from 90 degrees and the reason for that is is that there is my 90 there is my 90 degrees on that side there is my 90 degrees on that side in order to correct that for the center of the earth we need to take that away from the 90 degrees so we can see that angle little a equals 90 degrees minus and there it is 43 so that is that point here so we've got to take the longitude of B away from 90 to find little angle A because that is the side where uh, longitude B is so if I look up on here I'm looking for little angle A in here and that is corrected by the uh, answer for longitude B so I'm going to take longitude B away from that which is 43 degrees 52 minutes and that is going to equal 46 degrees and 8 minutes and similarly for angle B I have the 90 degrees and there it is on there that 90 degrees there uh, so I've got to take from that the longitude for so the latitude for point A and that's going to equal 39 degrees and 8 minutes and that's shown on here so let's just recap what we've done we have found what C equals and that equals this figure here we have found what angles little a and little b equal and they are contained in here now that we have all of that we can then start to use the cosine rule so and what the cosine rule is effectively going to give us uh, once we get to point C is we're going to get the radius of C in radians and then when we multiply that by uh, the radius which is this one here as we said earlier then that will give us the distance between points A and B and we use cosine rule to do that so I've got cos C which is the angle that we're looking for which will give us our distance is cos A cos little b plus sine a sine b cos big C and there's big C there that's the big C that we're talking about that's it there now I'm not going to write them in because you can see they've been plugged in over here and I encourage you to stop the video plug those figures in so they are the figures that are marked out here there's our big cos C there there is angle A so ever we see 
cos A, sin A, then we, play, we plug in 46 degrees 8 minutes and the same with angle B. We see in there and we find that the answer in radians equals 15.528 degrees and the distance therefore distance between A and B equals So the distance is one seven two six kilometers. So if you are asked to find the distance between two points, the answer is given using the method we've just shown. Now the cosine rule we used was cos C equals cos A cos B sine A sine B cos big C and it goes without saying that because it's a triangle a spherical triangle then cos A will equal cos B cos C sine B sine C cos big A and cos little b exactly the same so in order to find the bearing we need the angle from A so the bearing from A is given using cos A equals cos B cos C plus sine B sine C cos big A. Now if you stop the video and just do the transformation of that you will find that what we're looking for is this to be the subject so let's write that in cos A and that's going to equal cos A minus cos B cos C all over, that's a terrible line that, should we write that line again not, not much better but there you go sine B sine C and when you plug those figures in, and exactly the same figures as we had before, so let's just have a look at those. There's my A, B, and I now have what my C is. So when we plug those in, we get a figure that is minus 0 0.322. Therefore, A is going to be cos to the minus 1 of that. So A equals cos minus 1 of minus 0 0.322 and that equals 108 degrees 47 minutes and there is my bearing so now what I've found is I have an answer for the distance A B equals that and the bearing is 
this which is 108 degrees 47 minutes. That ends this short tutorial on spherical trigonometry.